Order of waking, a way to begin. Soon they will wake. We wait, joined in a sentence, ghosted by proximity. Writer to reader, I've unread everything. There is a hidden architecture beneath us, reaching beneath the white veil of the page. Here, in the penumbra, we're finally from some imagined source, a light breaks the page. The light is like a wing, and the wing is God, and you, feather breathed and beaming, are the sum of yourself in a dream. Give me your hand. There should be something to touch between us, more than ink. The ink where you and I blur into the sound your mind makes while you read, keep reading, Soon they will wake. They are more real this way. More real than us or me while writing their bodies into men. The dying brightness dissolving our presence on the page. Acquiring silence as the text elongates and diffuses. I canvas your tongue and spill. Two, the anatomy of blurring. I'm imagining a window. You are on the other side of it, outside. If you listen, you will hear the ocean pulling at the shore behind you, stretching it clean behind you. Colorless sky softened with seagulls. Do not be distracted by the absence of your reflection on the pane. The window is built with paper. Nothing here is familiar. Ink believes the page, the page leads us there. This is their waking room. This is their bed. The bed where they broke from each other's arms during the night. This is the smell of sleep on their skin. Soon they will wake. The younger first, then the other. A lapse in the quality of light. Waking dims, stuffs the eyes with lies. He wakes. To perceive him now is to perceive a history of blurring. A failure to induce an alternate anatomy. A body projected over itself continuously until its edges blur and forget. You could measure time this way, in layers. Every shade of skin piled vertically, lit by a dream. 